she is the original and the ultimate rock chick. Yes. Susie Gratto, everyone! Yeah. During her five decade long career, she has sold more than 55 million records, had hit singles around the globe, including 18 right here in Australia. Our next week, Susie will take to the stage for her 30th and final wow. Aussie tour. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You've done it all in fabulous pants and a leather jacket. <laughs> yeah. Susie, you have um, been coming to Australia regu regularly since the 70s. Do you sort of feel like an honorary Aussie now? This is kind of my, I call it my second home. Mm. And, um, oh, I, I, I'll start tearing up. It's, I, I've been such a part of your lives and you've been such a part of mine. Yeah. And I'm so pleased about that. You know, I have such fond memories. You got your big break. You were massive in uh, Europe and Australia before you really cracked it back home yes. in the States. Yeah, I had, I'd hit hits on that side first. Yeah. Then I finally went over there. I, well, I had a big hit with Stumbling and it was a million seller. Yeah. But hap yeah. I mean, I was touring there, but Happy Days really broke me big time in America. I'll you're you're so frank and funny and mm. earthy. I think you're almost our Australian. A closet Aussie, a close Oz. Yeah. Just, you know, we feel the Sicily camaraderie yeah. from I think you, we have definitely. Some, do we have some footage of you from 1970s? 1974. From a Australia, press, press conference. conference. Oh my god. Oh my oh god, no, that's, that's me when I was 14. By the way, that. Oh, there's your press. Oh my god. Oh my Check god. It out. Look at me. Since you were here last. Um, I've got a different shade of lipstick on. But you keep coming back to Australia. It must be a wow. pretty good hunting ground for you, is it? What did she say? What? We had a good time last time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It must be a pretty American. good hunting ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing that now, Susie, what, what do you, what do you think? What do, do you, I think? Yeah, watching we're looking that? at that young woman. I there. see, I see a young 24-year-old dealing with a lot of success and putting on this serious, you know, attitude. I have attitude. Yeah. Mm. You know, don't mess with me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And Be that's to keep the jerks away. Well, that attitude. Of course. Yeah. Mm. And, and I mean, you're full of, I think, the most wonderful attitude. And what I found a real revelation is looking at your book of poetry. Mm. And um, the, you've done this fabulous book that's got photos and then with these amazing poems. And there was one particular one that I really um, sort of related to, which was called Round and Round Again. You, you, mm. went, you went right to it. I did. Yes. I just was sort of flicking through yeah. the book. And you yeah. were talking about a time um, when your kids were young, six and four. This is the book right Tell here, us a bit by about the way. It. And, and it's the called Through My Eyes. Mm. Through yeah. My Eyes. I'm just having a leaf through it now. This is fantastic. Mm. There's a good amazing. one there about being a Catholic girl, shall I? Read oh, please. It? Yes. Mm. And uh, well, speaking of being a Catholic girl, your first group was called the Pleasure Seekers. It was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. And, <laughs> and you'll see how <laughs> ridiculous. I, uh, <laughs> At 14 years of <laughs> age, you know, <laughs> green, and you call the band. It's an all-girl band. The Pleasure Seekers. <laughs> <laughs> your and sister tell, was tell in that band. Yeah, you had your sister. Was yeah. it Pinky Tuscadero? Yes, that was my <laughs> elder sister. Oh, those are three of my sisters there. The one oh. on the organ, look that's that. me. Mm. So what year Susan's was that? Was that late 60s, oh early 70s? Oh, my God, look at me. No wonder you're so at ease with women. Mm. Like, I have three sisters. I think women are each other's human wonder bras, uplifting, supportive, and making <laughs> each other look bigger and better. Mm. Yeah. And you've obviously got that wonderful kind I'm still waiting to need a wonder bra. <laughs> my, my, mine is, I wonder why I wear it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. And that's the other sister. That's the six foot tall one on the right. Oh, mm. God. Oh, it's incredible. So how do you go with your sisters now? Because obviously you just broke out and became phenomenally successful. I mean, 55 million records, for God's sake. Uh, do, they, do, do you still fight with your sisters? You know, because sisters are often very competitive with each mm. other. You know, they're always... Yeah, we, we fight. Um, do they say, I was... can't believe it. I was the talented one? The, the, sh sure, that happens sometimes, but we have taught. Th this is a serious subject, so I can't just answer it frivolously. Sure. Um, we were in the band together, and I got the offer to go solo, and of course I was, you know, going to oh, take that yeah. offer. Oh, yeah. So it meant leaving my sisters, Ooh. leaving my family, leaving my home. Mm. Ouch. Professionally, no brainer. Emotionally, very difficult. Mm. And was it? Was, it was, it was, took time. And how did they feel about it? Were it they... took time. There was a lot of mixed emotions. There was a little, you know, a little bit of resentment, which is natural. And I ended up feeling very lonely for a long, long time. Mm. Mm. I was over in England with nobody. Mm. Mm. But I mean, we are close. We're all very close. Yeah. You know, so it's just the way it is. The you get your shot and you go for it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Look, the Absolutely. industry can be uh, tough enough on women. I mean, what do you think yeah. of um, pop stars? now and, and, and what they need to do to, to sell records and have their voices heard. People How long like have Miley you got? How long Cyrus is this show? And... <laughs> the, only, the only thing I will say, and I've said it for quite a while now, and I was the, one of the first 
people to speak out about this. And now I see everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. I'm a huge fan of people like Jennifer Lopez, like Miley Cyrus, like Rihanna, like, uh, just big fan. But I don't like the lack of clothing. And I wonder, where do we go from here? Mm. Really, what more can you do? Mm. It borders, to me, I sound so prudy now, I sound like the Catholic girl that I am. Mm. It borders the videos on soft porn. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And what's the next step? What do you do, go into bed with them now? Mm. Is this the next? So you kind of, I think, as, as good as these people are, and they're so talented, that you kind of painted yourself into a corner. Mm. Mm. And leave a little bit to the imagination. There's, there's only so many layers you can mm. take off until suddenly you've got none left. And so exactly. what do you do for an encore? Mm. I mean, okay, I, had a, I don't want to be hypocritical. Sure, I, I still wear a leather jumpsuit, mm. but... And you I'm, look hot in it. But I'm not showing anything. I am hot. <laughs> Boy, <they're laughs> hot. <It's> boiling. <laughs> Showing it. Oh, that, that was a good picture. Oh that wow. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Now, you've got this here. Please, could you read something book? for us? Okay. I'm going to read A Good Catholic Girl. Oh. All right. Are you sitting comfortably? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. A good Catholic girl in a whirlpool of desire trapped. A mass of contradictions. When she's good, she's good. When she's bad, she's great. <laughs> her own sense of time, her own right and wrong, her own rhythm. A system that's allowed. <laughs> What's oh not allowed, she pursues despite consequences. Then in a darkened cubicle, all is revealed, all is forgiven. The rhythm of lust beats slow and steady and touches a good Catholic girl. Oh to our next week in oh, Perth, sure, and yeah. all the details are on our website. But don't go away because Caesar's on for the rest of the show, and we love her. You're yeah. not going anywhere. We might have to kidnap you. <laughs>